champion named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. He had a helmet of bronze on his head, and was armed with a coat of mail, and the weight of the coat was five thousand shekels of bronze, and he had greaves of bronze upon his legs, and a javelin of bronze slung between his shoulders. And the shaft of the spear was like a weaver's beam, and the spearhead weighed six hundred shekels of iron, and his shield-bearer went before him. They stood and shouted to the rank of Israel, Why have you come to draw up for battle? Am I not a Philistine, and are you not servants of Saul? Choose a man for yourselves, and let him come down to me. If he is able to fight me and kill me, then he, we will be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then we shall, you shall be our servants and serve us. And the Philistine said, I defy the ranks of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. Even though he was very young, David knew he could defeat Goliath and volunteered to fight. And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Your servant will go and fight this Philistine. And Saul said to David, You are not able to go against a Philistine and to fight with him, for you are but a youth, and he has been a man of war from his youth. But David said to Saul, Your servant used to keep sheep from for his father, and when there came a lion or a bear, and took a lamb from the flock, I went after him and smote him and delivered him out of his mouth. And if he arose against me, I caught him by the beard and smote him and killed him. Your servant has killed both lions and bears, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be like one of them, seeing as he defied the armies of the living God. And David said, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear shall deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. And Saul clothed David in his armor. He put a helmet of bronze on his head and cloaked him with a coat of mail. And David girded his sword over his armor and tried in vain to go, for he was not used to them. Then David said to Saul, I cannot go with these, for I am not used to them. And David put them off, and he took his staff in his hand and chose five smooth stones from the brook and took them in his shepherd's bag and his sling in his hand, and he drew near the Philistine. And the Philistine came and drew near to David with his shield bearer in front of him. And when the Philistine looked and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth, ruddy and comely in appearance. And the Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come with me at, with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. The Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give your flesh to the birds of the air and to the beasts of the field. But then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword and a spear and a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you down, and cut off your head, and I will give the dead bodies of the host of the Philistines this day to the birds of the air and the wild beasts of the earth that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel, and that all the assembly may know that the Lord saves not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give our hand. When the Philistine arose and came and drew nearer to David, David ran quickly towards the battle line to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag and took out a stone and slung it and struck the Philistine on his forehead. The stone sank into his forehead and he fell on his face to the ground. After the defeat of Goliath, <laughs> David went on to become one of the greatest kings of Israel. He would never have been able to do this if he had not always believed in God since his childhood. Of course, he had a few problems along the way. <laughs>